there and welcome to another episode of Avatopia's Let's Play of No Man's Sky. This is episode 20, I believe I'm on. Okay, I've landed on this brand new planet. You know, so I was going to look up how to find the, um, what do you call it, the hyperdrive. Apparently when you're into space, where I was, you get a distress signal. What I was getting, I didn't have to activate it. Apparently you're supposed to follow that. You uh, get to a alien, you help him, and then he gives you the blueprint. So, what I need to work out is this... Where I've come to happened to be the stress signal I happened to come to or not. So have a little look around first. It's like an ashy planet this, isn't it? Kind of maybe the planet was a little bit better. See incoming signal, beacon transmission detected. I'm hoping it's that. If not, I'm on the wrong planet. I guess we should just go over and find out. Okay. So, W to take off. Last time I hit E to land my mistake. <clears throat> oh, I should be scanning, shouldn't I? As well, that would help. Hopefully, this is the right beacon, and then I get my hyperdrive blueprint, and then I also have to make it myself, of course. But then at least I'm free to leave. I mean, awesome. Oh, I guess it's going nighttime. Oh, it's a dark side of the planet. <laughs> Oh yeah, engage boost. Here we go. That planet looks nice. Look with the green sky with the red tint to it. Okay. 16 away. The, the colours of this planet look nice. Very alien, even though my initial impressions of it compared to my first planet, the first planet was better. <laughs> but we'll just arrive, so we'll find out later. Oh no. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. We are 18 away. Hopefully this is the right beacon I'm flying to. There isn't multiple, hopefully. Because this is how I actually get my hyperdrive. So I, I first believed, oh, it must be on the planet somewhere. It wasn't, it was on a different planet. <laughs> this will be scanning, so just guess I find everything on the way. Oh, ships. Nice. And we've got the same cargo amount as last time because I bought a new ship. But I should have a better ship because I've got an extra, like extra cooler and an extra weapon. So why is it getting further away? That was an 18 before, wasn't it? Or am I just seeing things? Okay, I'm sure I said 18 before, and then it jumped to 19. I looked away to 19. Like, unless I was looking that wrong, that was weird. Come uh, on, get to the location. I guess you get to see some nice scenery of the planet. Kind of. Not exactly the best looking planet. It's very rocky. In a way, it reminds me of Star Citizen's actual first demo showing the first planet. The last planet they showed was a lot better. Obviously, this was more yellowy, like a Tatooine type place, wasn't it? Caramba, 16, 17, he's gone to 17 again, why? Oh, I see, I'm, pull, I'm going up a little bit so I don't crash, so obviously it's making it longer, because I get more drag. So if I go like this, it should take faster, but I'm going to smash into the ground doing this. I see. So that's why it's going up and down a little bit, to do with the drag I'm getting. Right, crying out loud, this place is far. I kind of want to like, get high enough because I'm, I'm, I'm rising again. Why don't I want to hit the mountain? Okay, hopefully I can just keep this nose and just miss the mountain. Yeah. It feels like we're not really getting any closer. Well, now it's here, it's 12. I was going to say it keep going between like 14s and 16s. And... Wow. Well, this means you should turn, well, obviously not now, but turn around the opposite way to get to it, because I'm assuming the planet's around to look it. So you go from one side to the other, I'm assuming you can do that. This beacon is ages away. Scanner recharging. 
Come on, seriously. It is on this planet, isn't it? Surely if it wasn't, it would be putting up there. This whole episode is going to be travelling to this beacon, apparently. Why is it taking so long? Oh, sugar! I knocked it. I, I, I did what I did. Star Citizen E is to turn, and I did it again. Sugar! Five hours away. Wow. Probably see if I need to reload this thing. Ah... I've wasted it a couple of times now, haven't I? Pulse engine, yeah. Oh, 69, it looks like it's a bigger pulse engine, which is good. Technology recharging. Technology recharging. I haven't actually got no space, have I, for anything? Oh, I've got one. Okay, take off again. I really wish E wasn't to land and exit the ship. As I said, I'm so used to playing Star Citizen. Like I said, Q and E basically tilts your ship. And I keep instantly got instinctively going for E if I if I like a not A and he tilts that way because A A and D goes left and right, so if I hit A to tilt, I went to hit E to tilt back, and that's why I landed. I'm saying no transmission tips. I know, I'm trying to get to it. So I can't use that um spacebar thing, can I here? A spacebar on it. Yeah. So it keeps telling me about the, the pulse engines, we can't use them in the atmosphere. I did not honestly think this would take this long to get to. Like, I guess, like I say, you get to see this, the, the planet, the very rocky planet this is. I wish I land here, just have a look before. So obviously we can do something. I'm gonna land here on purpose. Twenty hours of walk, or four hours now. I might as well have a look around this planet a little bit. Or why don't we spend the whole episode just chasing it, aren't I? Oh, restock some of my stuff if I can. New technology discovered, see? Stuff like this I was missing out. Uh, wide shot adapter. Bolt well, the bolt caster shots are granted a wide cone of destruction, due to devices range and rate of fire, encouraging combat with targets in close proximity to the user. Unlikely once constructed. Okay. So basically, close up, it's like a shotgun. They're a lot, a lot more damage uh, far away. It's, it's rubbish. I've maximized. Anything here? I've done this. At oh, yep. Transmission readout suggests that long ago a distant, a distress signal went unanswered. A sequence of numbers has been repeating itself for so long that its imprint is burnt into the screen. An input box flashes at me in, in no, not instantly, insanely, whatever that word is. If I crack the code, I can phone the ship. Okay, 99, 92, 86, 81. So, 928681. So, so, it's going to be 7977, isn't it? Obviously, it can't be 95 because 99, 92, you missed 95 out. So, what's it going down in? Uh, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2. So, it's gone down in like a, a, a 7. So, it's got, it loses 7. And then, what's 86 to 92? 7, 8. 788 89 91 2 6 Oh okay so I believe it's going to go 7 6 5 4 going down if I'm right So 80 81 oh, no so 77 so 78 79 80 81 so so 77 Yay I think I did it Hmm, another stress signal. Okay, neat. There's two question marks around this area. <clears throat> huh. Probably got that trash uh, trash I crash I even in a set now before we head to the beacon. To 
it's taking forever to get to that place. Anything else in here I need to grab quick? I'm them up. Uh, Building, shall we? Where's the entrance? <laughs> Where's the door? Feels like a big building could be quite a lot of stuff in here. I'll fix that in a minute. Seriously, where's the door? Out there. What's this stuff here first? Technology discovered. Press tab to inventory. Combat avoid nice. Nope. Nope. Oh, this is not really stress thing, is it? Beacon sent out from light years away. Flickers tenderly on the monitor. What response? But what response do I give? Ow! Oh, one of these big ones again. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Nine seventy-eight. Seven eight. Is this one where it's swapping the numbers again? So the nine goes to the back. Oh, it is, isn't it? So that so if that's right, the seven goes to that's eight. So that makes the eight goes to the back. So what has eight at the back? We've got two. And it should be zero at the front. Aha, this one then. If six were correct, and my efforts are oh, amp amplified rewarded. Amply rewarded even. Amply rewarded! Journey milestone accomplished. Nice. Friend, great standing. Okay, is this the way out or is this. Ah, yeah. We've got it locked. Okay. Oh, actually, there's two ways. Dead there, so what's this way? Ow. Stupid Atlantic passes I don't have. Okay, interesting. Guess to the crash site then. Where's my ship? Oh, actually, we can see. Uh, go to this, see if anyone lands. Maybe we can buy a better ship with not much extra money. <laughs> An extra one slot would be nice. Can I get to it going through this? Oh, hello! Discovered. Oh, nice. Welcome to Galactic Trade Network. Oh, nice. <coughs> Sell items from the inventory. Buy from Galactic Trade. Sell. What? Have you got anything I don't need? Ah, the beam. Anything else I don't need? Um, da -da 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 -da. No. Buy anything worth buying? No. Ow! Oh, sugar! Um, one sec. We okay now? Let's put back on. Phew, that's close. Okay, you. <laughs> Standing partner. Despair, Gek Trader. Low, give. Something. Elements two, give isotopes. Life will make confused. Okay. Friend. <coughs> Quest healing. Should agree to help. Okay, interesting. Ooh. Ah, interesting. Neat. Okay. Ow. 
Ow. I passed yet. Hello, met for aliens. Oh, that's my ship. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna head to the distress thing. Oh, sure, one of them. Go, 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 go. Go! Seize me. Okay, with that, though, I'm going to end this episode right here. Hope you enjoy and tune in next time. We'll go to the stress signal and hopefully get to the hyperdrive place, too. Live job's in. Bye, bro. Bye-bye. Take care of it right there. Bye-bye.